Quit it, you horny bastard. Huh. Pooh. Horny bastard won't quit meowing. What's up, guys? It's your boy Ken Dog back here. Or, or. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ken Dog TV channel. And today, I like that one better. Today, we're recording a vlog for you. It's gonna be a good one. My damn car is broken. What the hell, Kenny? You just bought it. I know, I know, dude. I, I, I don't know. I was driving to my grandma's house this weekend. I stayed up there for a night, working on their truck for like 12 hours straight. I would fix one thing on it and the damn thing was so rusty when I was putting it back together something else would break. So yeah, I was doing that all weekend. But when I was driving my car up there, I noticed it started, I hear, heard a knocking sound. I was like, what the hell, man? I was just driving, you know, I was, I was firing it up on the way there. But I wasn't like, -da -da -da. nothing crazy. So there's no reason it should be knocking like that. So I don't think it's the motor. I haven't even popped the hood to look at it. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. All I know is it hardly starts at all. Runs like shit and it's knocking loud. <laughs> and I drove it to my buddy's house yesterday and it just cut off on me. And I don't know, man. After it cut off on me, it was crook. Like I had no voltage or something. So the alternator or battery might have went out. I don't know. I'm just going to bring my tools over there today. My multimeter. See if I can try to figure anything out. You know, it might be a pulley that's loose. Could be knocking. Because it doesn't sound like a rod knock at all. But anyway, before we do all that, we're going to go to the gym. I want to start going early in the morning instead of before bed. I feel like working out right before bed's keeping me up all night. But a little bastard update. Finally, this week, we're going to get this bastard spaded. She's just so damn horny man all the time meow, meow, meow. she won't shut up so we have to do something hormonally to the bastard look she's gonna attack my damn hand you gonna scratch me, little bastard, huh? Is that what you gonna do? That that little bastard gonna do, little bastard? Oh, that little. Oh. But today we're gonna be using some pre-workout. Typically don't use this stuff, but you know it's been about four or five days since I've been in the gym. Plus it's chest day, so you know. But all this Redcon One shit. But yeah, I got a discount with all this stuff just because my connections. You know, I know people, and I'd like to share the savings with you. So this is the code I use on Redcon One Mud Jug for ten percent off everything on Redcon One. So yeah. Yeah, if you want to save money, there you go. I don't make money from advertising it. I just like y'all to save money. It's good shit. Mix one scoop with six ounces of water. Ain't nobody got time for that. Your scoop. <clears throat> Gotta get my tripod before we go. All right, y'all. We're at the gym. And yesterday, I just multiplied my swag by like 10. And it only took one purchase. Got some damn AirPods, bro. Never used these damn things before. Not sure if they're worth the damn or not. But I just thought they'd be helpful because like the wires before when I'd be working out, I'd always rip them out of my ears. But if these are garbage, I'm probably gonna take them back. Alright y'all, just got done working out and lost five pounds. Mainly because I've been skateboarding so much and sweating a lot. The only time I can really gain muscle is during winter time where I'm not sweating all my calories off. Winter time, hopefully we'll try to hit about 200 pounds. Yeah! Alright y'all, but uh, yeah dude, I guess I'm just gonna have to... 
Ugh. But we're getting one of these MRE shakes. Just four of these tiny ass scoops. 500 calories, almost 70 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, no cholesterol, and there's a bunch of potassium, calcium, iron. This is some really good shit, man. And the calories ain't even including the cup of milk you gotta have. But uh, instead of four scoops, I usually use five or six. But I guarantee like a bunch of y'all right now are like, dude, you just changed your channel name to Kenny Goodluck. Why the hell did you change it to another name? Are you bipolar? Probably. I thought about the name change for almost two months, dude. Thinking about it, just make sure that it's 100% what I want. But when I actually changed it and like I commented on people's videos, I was just looking at my channel. It just didn't feel right, man. Is this my damn Facebook profile? What is this? So I wanted to come up with something with TV in it. I, I just got to, dude. I've been a TV for so long. I gotta have something else. Didn't want to go back to Redneck TV because if you have any knowledge about YouTube whatsoever, you know that that redneck is considered an advertiser unfriendly. And anytime I put the word redneck in my tags or title, it demonetizes the video and I make zero dollars from it. So you know, there's really no sense of getting paid less over trying to be some proud yee yee folk. So I changed it to Ken Dog TV. And I know some of y'all are thinking, dude, what the hell? Wasn't when you were 16 you said you hated being called that name? Yeah, but you know, I'm 19 years old now. I'm not 16 anymore. Really don't give a hell, man. And, you know, when I meet fans in public, like the majority of them, instead of saying, Redneck TV, they're like, yo, what up, Ken Duck? So why the hell not, man? I know for sure it's gonna make a lot of you happy. I was gonna change it to KGTV, but it came to my attention that Kendall Gray already took that. A lot of people actually got mad last video about that. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Apologize for not seeing every single video on YouTube to this date? I don't even watch YouTube. I just like watch forensic files and shit. <laughs> You're wondering why I like this ninja thing so much? Watch this shit. Alright y'all, about to go diagnose the car, get back to y'all. Alright y'all, yesterday I drove to my buddy's house, my boy Gage, TG Vlogs. We was about to go get something to eat in the pimp mobile, right? We back up and as soon as we're about to take off, cool, just dies. Then we have to push it back. I try starting it, it's crunk, crunk. But before I get into this video, I just want to clear something up. Last video, everybody saw the damn vape ad. You know, it's the second one I've ever done on my channel out of the three years I've been doing YouTube. Just a quick, easy way to make moolah. So, you know, those vape ads, they do pay pretty good. A lot better than advertising some dumbass app that I've never played before. So, you know, I've had this ad planned for about a month and a half now. Maybe even two months. Way before I even thought about quitting dip. And I know some of y'all were joking, but like 10 percent of the people y'all weren't joking you were actually offended so you know it is kind of my bad because i didn't really clear it up kind of bad timing you know i just said i don't want to dip anymore i want to quit and then the very next video i'm showing a vape and shit but it's not like that dude if you have common sense and you've watched a lot of my videos you would know that because for one i don't vape and two i clearly stated that to only get this if you already vape or want to slow down on your tobacco use never once did i say it's better than dip never once did i say i'm switching to this from dip you honestly think I would review that stupid ass vape for free. Why the hell would I do that? Was I sincere? Yes. I've tried a few vapes in my life and that one was the best one I've ever tried. Do I think it's just the greatest thing ever and that everybody should do it? No, I was just making an ad for money, bro. You know, I just made that ad so I could cop a fat bag. Nothing more. But you know, I can't understand y'all's point of view. But it's not like that, okay? I just want you to know that. Hell, it's not like I make money from advertising dip. But damn it, if somebody wants to give me three grand every time I put a dip in, somebody pay me and I'll do it, damn it. But until then, I think dipping is just a waste. It's a waste of money to me. It doesn't make me gain anything. But still, dude, I just think in the long run, quitting dip would be better for my health, better for my financial shit. I would be gone of the guilt of people saying, thank you for getting me started, man. And then I can get rid of the dumbasses that only subscribe to me because I did, which are complete useless. You know, they don't do anything for my fan base. When somebody leaves a hate comment, they don't take up for me. They just sit there and say, hey man, what you dipping on, ball? Yeah. I'm not quitting dip yet. You know, it might be next year before I quit. I just wanted to let y'all know that eventually I'm going to attempt it. Right now, I'm just slowing down on it. Like yesterday, I went a whole day without putting a single dip in until right before I went to bed. That's the first time I've done that since 
I think freshman year. Oh shit, about lost my damn AirPods. <laughs> but yeah, dude. A lot of y'all are saying like, dude, I'm gonna miss pack one with me, y'all. No, I can understand that you're gonna miss the ritual of packing a backer with old Ken Dog. I can understand that you would miss that. But dude, literally the only hilarious thing about pack one with me, y'all, is just speed editing a bunch of random actions together. Like I could literally do that with anything. What the hell? I just noticed this shit. It's like a little tiny bulge. Guess something flung out of the motor. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Like, what the hell? The only other thing that could have been was like a rock, but something slung out of the motor. But dude, look, there's a dent here now and a dent there. Just for my dumb ass doing shit like this. Let me just give you an accurate representation on how much I give a fuck. <laughs> Let me look at this piece of shit. Quit barking at me! There's like eight people sitting outside and watching me, man. 100% they think I'm doped out. It looks like I'm just talking to a tree. <laughs> but I'm about to back a packer. Let me check the voltage on this piece of shit. 12 volts. Try starting it. <laughs> what the hell, bro? It's running! All right, we gotta get this bastard home, boy, before it cuts off. Cause yesterday it just cut off and it wouldn't start back for nothing. And now, first try, just fires right up. Dude, this fucker's about to blow up any minute. Okay, it's safe to say that there's a damn rod knocking. <laughs> what? You want to fight about it? It's gonna blow! Bro, it flung a rod! Holy shit! It's still running. There's no power at all. I heard something hit the ground, bro. We gotta get her home fast. I'm not towing this fucking thing home. It is not in my name. Come on, buddy. I can't. I gotta go. She's a runner! Yeah, dude, it's missing a cylinder. I can tell. Come on, bro. I can't be idle. She ain't knocking no more. <laughs> what up, dog? She's smoking. Oh shit! Oh, she's high. Hell, you're making the jerk home back. I think this is the last time it's gonna run. So rip, pimp mobile. Let me go change the battery real quick, and we'll check the oil on it. You mad? You can't ride in the pimp mobile no more. Oh, I know, man. I had a really badass video idea. If these coins are worth the hell, it was gonna be like, my car paid itself off when I found this in the back seat. Basically what happened was I locked my keys in the trunk and then I was taking the back seat out to see if like, behind the back seat it was solid or if there's a piece of cardboard i can move to get back there but of course it was solid so i took the back seat out for no reason but i found something when i took the back seat out it was this tiny little ziploc baggie with these three coins in it i'm not sure if they're worth anything maybe some of y'all might know this is a 1907 indian penny i mean it's in pretty much perfect shape 1935 buffalo nickel and then another 1908 nickel and i'm not sure what this one is it's little bit in bad shape maybe these coins are worth more than the damn car i'm obviously not going to take them to a pawn shop though because if i do they're just gonna be like oh we'll give you five bucks for them regardless if they're worth a grand a piece i need to find somebody that's gonna buy them for a good amount like a coin collector or something but yeah any of y'all that know anything about coins let me know are these worth anything well, let's go check out this motor first instinct is pu what's that horrible smell belt's tight uh none of these pulleys are the reason it's knocking it's all the smoke coming out from back here let me check the oil. Hey, Bubba. Wow. Yeah, it's a motor, Bubba. Oh, cool. 
Don't touch none of that. It's hot. That does not look healthy at all. I'd let you in there, man, but there's so many tools. You'll probably get yourself cut. He loves climbing around in this thing. Go, Mama. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get on, Bubba. Not rad. <laughs> Press the button. It's misfire. <laughs> tree, tree. Tree. Good job. Oh man. Who's that? Oh man. Spider Man. Good job. I'm gonna check the oil, buddy. Ow, ow. Oh, yep. We blew the motor, guys. Damn. You know what this smells just like, bros? Gasoline. That tells me we got a cylinder with absolutely nothing in it, and it's just squirting gas down in there and going into the oil pan. So this bastard's running on five cylinders. Maybe four. <laughs> Dude, I honestly don't know how this happened. I was just driving it to my grandma's, and, you know, I was firing up on it a little bit. I wasn't, like, holding it to the rev, doing nothing like that. And all of a sudden, I hear, click, 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 pull over, put Lucas oil in it, and and just wouldn't quit. Totally not my fault. I cannot believe that the guy who I bought this from ripped me off. I guess it's just karma for me selling that Duramax. <laughs> my mom's shaking her head over there. No, obviously this is because of me. What? Can you pull, pull your bubble? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Put the bubble flip! Ah, oh, mom! So smart. Y'all know a two year old that can count to 40 and say his ABC? Because this is the first one I've ever known. Every time he sees pumpkins, he'll be like, oh, Halloween, ghost. It's so observant of everything. Soccer ball. Ooh. Kick. Soccer ball. Good job. Kick. 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 Good job. Ow. Ow. Umbrella? <laughs> rip pimp mobile gone way too soon literally i had this thing two weeks didn't even get a chance to cut the damn muffler off but i definitely need to get this thing swapped and running before winter time but yeah you're probably wondering what are you gonna do with this hunk of metal probably doesn't even run anymore i haven't tried starting it <laughs> <laughs> might blow up. Dude, this thing's screwed. But I just got off the phone with my boy Caden, and I have decided that I want to blow this piece of shit up. Everybody remembers the refrigerator video. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> But this time, I'm probably gonna buy way more Tannerite. We're gonna blow this thing to the moon, buddy. I talked to Caden and asked him to ask around if anybody's got some land or something we can do it on. I don't wanna just do it on somebody else's land and just leave shit everywhere. Cause last time, ain't gonna lie, I was trespassing AF. And because of that, I picked up every single piece of metal and all of the trash that I blew up. But you know, a car, there's no way that I'm gonna pick all that shit up. What I'm thinking is just one giant tote of Tannerite sitting in the driver's seat or put like a tote of tannerite up under the back of it and shoot it and see if we can get the thing to flip that'd be awesome i don't know we'll decide what we're gonna do when we actually make the video which if it all goes planned we will do this weekend but if you like today's video let me know by leaving this video with a big thumbs up lets me know what kind of content y'all would like to see and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's free all you got to do is hit the sub button and then bam you a dank og never follow me on instagram Ken Dog tv add me on snapchat i post memes like a mofo rntv underscore 15 and i'll catch you next time on the ken dog tv channel later Bye.